Hello everybody and welcome to week two of the Viking season. As you can tell, I'm not in the studio and I'm not in my normal fancy uh, duds. It's, uh, it's our seven year anniversary and uh, the, the celebration has been going on all weekend and it's been, uh, it's been tough to get behind the camera. So here I am making a real quick impromptu video. Uh, we were uh, up in Hinkley and we actually went to the Firehouse Liquor Store Huge selection of fun stuff. Uh, lots of local stuff, lots of craft bre uh, brews. I got a Woodchuck hard cider, because fall is upon us, although it's quite summery today. Uh, woodchuck, um, Mimosa, Cider and OJ, 5.5% alcohol by volume. I was trying to remember where they were from. Vermont, Vermont. So I'm gonna crack this open here real quick. That company. Skull feel it there. Yeah, that's about as refreshing as I could have hoped for. That's um That's really good. Really sweet. Um probably just gonna do one of these. Uh leaving that low sugar lifestyle. But delicious, refreshing on this again, very summery. Uh, mid-September day. All right, again, I'm keeping this short. Last week did not go our way, and there are a lot of people who I think personally um, maybe are blowing week one a bit out of proportion. The Vikings had 12 accepted penalties. They were behind constantly in the first quarter. Um, in terms of yardage, they were getting false start penalties. They, all the third downs were, were long. The offense didn't even have a chance to do its thing, so I don't think we should get too bent out of shape about whether or not the offense is terrible. Um, it it just it, everything that could go wrong did go wrong, and that happens sometimes. Uh, the Vikings did manage to make up the difference and take it to overtime on a field goal, no less, a last-second field goal, got us to overtime. Couple pe couple calls didn't go our way. That's going to happen. You got to be, be uh, good enough to, you know overcome those challenges. More company. Um, just, this week, we're going up against the Cardinals, who last week put on an absolute clinic in Tennessee. Um, it, it's, it's a bit startling. They have a very strong defensive front, and the Vikings, you may have noticed, not great up front on the O-line. But I, I, I think the Vikings have a really solid team. And I think we will see that. They might lose again. I, it, in fact, I'm assuming they will. But I think, much like last week, it could be a close game. It could be an exciting game. Hopefully, it's uh, at least fun. And hopefully, hopefully, we uh, get a better outcome than last week. All right. Thank you all for watching. Um, I'm hoping things slow down a little bit for me. And I can actually start getting guests coordinated. But uh, until then... Skull feel there. Happy anniversary, Haley, and go Vikings.